Okay, this is one of the most exciting things I have seen for holiday so far at Walgreens. It's the Wet n Wild uh, Golden Glimmer set. And that highlighter right there is what drew me in. The second I opened up this display to put it on the shelf, I was like, that's mine. That's going home with me today. And I did. I bought it that day. So if you have been wanting to get this highlighting gold bar, I think this came out earlier this year. And it came and went so quickly. Like, I could never find it in the store. I couldn't find it online. I wanted it so bad. But I couldn't find it. So the second I opened this, I was like, yup, that's mine. It does come with the highlighting gold bar and four loose pigments and two brushes. It's 15 bucks. I think it's a really great value, especially if you wanted this. And the pigments are really good too. So let me just tell you all about the set, okay? This is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Gold Bar. I'm sure you have seen this before. Like, it's just so beautiful. Everybody wanted this. I want, hold on. Whoa, there's a little mirror right there that pops out on the side. That's pretty cool. So anyway, this is really nice highlight. I don't know if you'll be able to see the swatch I did, but I have a cut right there. Ew, I probably shouldn't show you that hand. Anyway, the highlighter is so nice and I almost want to say subtle. It's not as gold as it seems in the pan. Like it definitely has a gold tone to it when you put it on your face, but it's not over the top. It doesn't look like a gold streak or strip on your face. It blends into your skin so well. If you like the other Wet n Wild highlighters, you'll like this one just as much. And it's definitely the reason to buy this palette or this little set here. Um, yeah, this is really good. I'm so happy to have this now. And now that I know it has a little mirror, that's just very cool. Anyway, let's talk about the pigments because these were, these were things that I thought I would never, ever use. Um, I bought them, I got them in the set and I was like, those will sit there forever. But one of my coworkers bought this and she had one of these on her face. And I was like, what is on your face? It looks amazing. And she told me it was one of these pigments. And I was like, I got to try that on my face. So two of these I haven't tried yet. Um, one of them is called Ride on My Copper and one is called Heart of Rose Gold. They're extremely finely milled, like extremely finely milled powders. These two look like they have a little more metallicness to them because they are a copper and a rose gold. I haven't used them yet. I haven't been able to bring myself to like try them out. But the other two, especially this one right here called Kung Fu Lightning. And this one's called Dom and Cherry on Top. Okay. Oh, this one right here, the Kung Fu Lightning is stunning. So what I do is I, they all come with little stoppers too, which is nice. I dump a little in my hand and that's kind of how it comes out. I take my brush that I'm using and I dab it into the powder just to break up those little dots. Tap off whatever's like I put too much and then I press the brush flat on my face and then I buff it like this back and forth like mushing it into my skin becoming one with my skin. It looks awesome. It's not over the top. It's not a metallic highlighter. It is just the most nice, beautiful, subtle. This is what makes your skin glow. I have, I see people talk about highlighters and they have a glow to them, but they're really metallic and that's, I don't really think glowy, but this one is really just glowy and it makes your skin look awesome and I love it. This one is the same, the Dom and Cherry on top. Let me dump a little bit. This one is very extreme though. So this one, I, this one is a little, like a little more extreme. Darker skin tones definitely would get away with this one. Me, I find it to be a little too much. But um, I like this one on the same brush, but I like go over my eyelid with it. I just really like the way that looks. Um, this one blends in just as well. There's no noticeable glitters at all, at all. It's sheen all the way. And these two are really, really great. This one a little more intense and coppery. This one freaking beautiful. Like I, I'm so happy with that. And those are the things I thought I would never use. The other two haven't been able to use them yet. It also, oh, one thing I forgot to mention. This one, the Kung Fu Lightning, is extremely comparable, like on the face, the way it looks, and just everything about it to the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow Highlight one in the shade Fair Medium. This um, highlight right here, this Wet n Wild one looks exactly like that when you get it on your face. It is awesome. Ah, oh, I just, I'm so happy with that. Um, and the two brushes it comes with, meh. I don't find these good for the highlighters or the, um, my cat woke up. 
These are not good for the highlighters or the pigments. This brush is good on its own. I already own this as just like a flat eyeshadow brush. The wet, this um, uh, fan brush, no good. It's not good for anything. I have tried it with that highlighter gold bar and I just, I just don't think it, it works. Like it doesn't pick anything up. It really just like pushes the powder off the palette and then that's it. Like there's nothing there. Working it with the pigments too, it kind of just, this is not a good brush. This is one I think they could do without making. I just have never found a use for it and meh, that's okay. But the pigments and the highlighter are totally worth the price of this. I think they were so, so good. The two that I tried anyway and the highlighter gold bar. I'm sure the other two are going to be just as good. Just They'll just might be a lot more pigment to them, a lot more darker. But yeah, 15 bucks. Definitely check this one out if you're interested in any of those highlighters or trying the pigments because those were definitely a standout product for me that I thought I would never use. And that's it. That's all I got. I'll see you in another video. Goodbye.